This is Nikki Lynn with FlingActions.com and today I'm going to show you a quick two minute tutorial on how to make your own watermark brush for your photography. So uh, before I get started let's just remember that you can go to the website BlingActions.com and you can save $25 off of any $75 purchase with code GET25 and that's all caps GET25 at BlingActions.com. Check it out for actions, Lightroom presets, and classes. So let's go in and make our first water brush. This is a sample of my photography studio logo, Bellies and Blessings Photography. I'm going to show you really quickly how to make something similar to this and how to create a brush so that you can pop it on an image really quickly. So let's go in and let's start. We're going to start by creating a new canvas. We're going to do File New. Let's do a 300 resolution and we're going to do um, a height of 3 and we'll do a width of 5 and just click OK once you get those in there. We can call this water brush. Now you have your new canvas going to pop up here. So what we're going to do, uh, the first thing we're going to do is pick some sort of a cool character that we want to put into our water brush stamp. You can go to defont.com and there's other font websites where you can find some interesting sort of fonts that have some text and also some graphics available. I'm going to actually pop a camera inside of this one. This is uh, The font is called Camera Dings and I already have the font selected so I'm just going to hit the L button and I get this nice little camera that pops up here. So I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to move this down here. And I am going to go ahead now and I'm going to choose another font to do some letters. So I'll just go in and pick a very simple font here for this. We'll just go up and do here. Academy typewriter is fine. American typewriter. Uh, just for the sake of the tutorial, you can pick any font that you want, obviously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose bellies. And I'm going to pop this here. And then I'll go ahead and type blessings. And I can sort of move this around however I would want it to go. You can make it even, however you want it to be. And then I'll go ahead and put photography down here. You can get as fancy with this as you would want to get, um, separating the spaces, the letters, what have you. You also have the option of um, moving the text around by clicking on the box and having it go left or right however you want to do it. Um, once you're ready to do that just hit accept and then once you've done that you can go ahead and you just will go up and do select all. You get your marching ants all the way around your canvas and then once you've done that we can go up to um, edit and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to define brush preset so make sure that you click that option there. And what this has done is it's taken everything inside of here and it's created a nice little brush for you. It doesn't matter the color of the font that you picked when you created this either, by the way, you can change it later. So we're just going to call this um, sample brush and we're going to click OK. And then once we have done that, we'll be able to go in and we'll be able to see our brush. So we're just going to go up here and we're going to click the brush tool and then we can choose our brush palette. You have this little option right here. I'm working in um, 6. I'm working in CS6. So over here on the right, you will be able to right click this little button. It's a lighter gray color if you're in CS2, 3, 4. They're all different. Or I guess there's no 4. But all, they're all different um, colors. But the little button's the same. So you're just going to go up here and you're just going to choose do you want to view your brushes by text or do you want to view them by thumbnail or lists or what have you. I prefer text because I like to just be able to quickly pick what I can read. Um, and you can see here that the sample brush that I just made, I'm just now selecting that. And now I have this awesome brush that I can pop onto any of my pictures. Um, you'll also notice that you also have full control over your fonts here. You can, your font color, I can pick any color that I want and I can go ahead and I can apply this as needed. Um, so you should have lots of fun with this. It's a quick, easy way to be able to watermark all of your images that you're placing on Facebook or print or wherever you want to use them. 
uh, definitely check out the different fonts. They're a great way to be able to customize your images and protect them. If you're putting them on the web, that's very important. So I hope you enjoyed this two minute tutorial. We're gonna be adding lots of new two minute tutorials to show you different tools in Photoshop. And I hope that you find them enjoyable. And don't forget to check us out at blingactions.com. We offer camera classes. And we also offer editing classes for PS, PSE, and Lightroom, as well as actions for Photoshop, Elements, and Lightroom. Well, presets for Lightroom. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.